short lecture on adjusting account balances at period end. And this lecture is prepared to be used with the free financial accounting textbook that is available uh, at the link in the description in YouTube. And what I'm teaching you here is a methodology for approaching a number of different accounts to true them up at the end of the period. And this is related to accrual accounting and specifically the revenue recognition principle and the matching principle. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about the specific journal entries that are going to be made here. We're I'm just teaching you a methodology that you use to approach all of the adjusting uh, accounts, uh, adjust the adjustment of account balances at period end. So first what we're going to do is start with a little table. This is related to accounts that do not have contra accounts. And uh, the left hand side here you have a uh, the unadjusted account balance. The, uh, the blank is for the required adjustment and then I give you the what the adjusted account balance should be. And one of the things that you have to start doing in accounting is you do a lot of side calculations to calculate what a balance should be. For example, what should the, uh, the balance in inventory be at the end of the period uh, as an example. Or going to count the prepaid supplies to see how much is left at the end of the period. So what I've done is I've just given you what the balance is before adjustment, what it should be, and I've asked you to then fill in the required adjustment amount. because That's how I want you to picture this. So next, this is the required adjustment that would be needed to the account in order to, uh, to true it up to its account balance at period end. Now, anytime we do an adjustment like this, the offset, since we're doing this related to the matching principle or the revenue recognition principle, the offset is going to be an income statement account. So I put up on the screen here some examples of accounts that we need to adjust at period end. Period end. Uh, for example, supplies. And this is for the matching principle because supplies are an asset. Some of the assets expire during the period and they need to be recorded as supplies expense. So in this little table here, I've listed all the different accounts with, uh, that we're approaching and we're teaching you in accounting one. And what you're doing is you're learning uh, which account is being adjusted, the, uh, either the matching principle or revenue recognition principle that is related to truing up that account. And then I give you the income or expense account that is related to truing up the balance sheet account. So we're truing up a balance sheet account. And the offset is going to go to an income statement account, revenue or an expense. Next we're going to look at accounts with contra accounts. And uh, these are going to be things like uh, uh, net accounts receivable, property, plant, and equipment uh, w that we we're going to study in accounting one. So this is very similar to what we did with the previous table. I have the, what the balance is before adjustment, what the balance needs to be, and then you're supposed to calculate the required adjustment. All we've done here is we've added a contra account. And then I've given you, a, then you have to calculate what the net balance is. So we just added an additional step with the, with the contra account balance. You have to come up with a net balance before adjusting to the, the adjusted net account balance. And I've asked you to, re to uh, calculate the required adjustment, either a debit or a credit. And here's our answers. So for example, if we have an unadjusted account balance of a debit of 300000 and the contra account balance is a $100,000 credit, then we're going to have a net balance of $200,000. If after going through and doing your calculations, say this is for property, plant, equipment, for example, at the end of the period you see that the net balance should be $180,000, then you're going to require a $20,000 credit in order to true up that net balance to what it should be. So just like we did with the accounts without contra accounts, I've shown you the account name, the balance sheet account name that, that we're, we're truing up. Uh, the contra account that needs to be adjusted, for example, if we're going to be truing up uh, property, plant, and equipment, the uh, contra account that we're going to be hitting is accumulated depreciation. And the income statement account related to that is depreciation expense. Uh, accounts receivable, in order to calculate net accounts receivable, you need the allowance for doubtful accounts. And the offset to the uh, uh, to the net balance sheet account is bad debt expense. So you'll notice that everything that we've done in adjusting account balance at, at period end related to the revenue recognition principle or matching principle is going to end up in a uh, an increase or decrease of a revenue or, or an expense account. So 
So when you're doing adjusting or accrual journal entries, you're never going to have uh, cash as the offset. You're going to be uh, reducing the balance sheet account and uh, the offset is going to go to revenue or expenses. So please to check out the free financial accounting textbook on blogspot.com. Uh, study hard and I hope you get an A in Accounting 1.